I'm trying to have the viewers confronted by this animal who is about to face extinction. And that's why having placed the way I do so that his eye level is going to be about the same eye level as the viewer. This painting, uh, it's the first in a series of dogs playing and what I'm going to be doing and the paintings that follow it is to make them almost Matisse-like in the sense that I like the arrangement of these dogs and I'm going to build on that and have paintings where they're almost like Matisse's dancers, not in handling of paint but just in theme. And then over here behind these paintings I've got a series that I'm working on I call the Belfast Summer Dogs. These are the Summer Dogs of Belfast. These are the dogs you don't see around Belfast after the tour season is over. And uh, this little short-haired pointer was on the Memorial Bridge out here. And then this was something that I took from uh, a photograph that I'd taken at the Goodwill store of a, an older man from Connecticut who had come up with their little rescue dog. And then this is downtown in front of the Gothic, the only Sharpay I've seen in Belfast. And uh, I really liked it because Kermit, Kermit the Frog is paying the price here. I get away from some of my more serious subject matter and something to a little bit lighter. I think people need happy paintings now. And this is an Aboriginal woman from the Amazon, and she's... She's a little bit more threatening than the animals because she's saying in, in the title of the piece, he who sows the wind shall reap the whirlwind. And uh, I think that's what we're doing. So there are consequences to what we're doing. And this is what this piece is, is, is designed to uh, represent. 